Hello, my friends. This is Dr. Will, and I'm truly glad you're here. If you're like most people over 50, you probably have a little collection of supplement bottles on your kitchen counter. Magnesium, vitamin D3, K2 for bone health, maybe a bit of zinc or fish oil. You take them faithfully each morning, hoping they'll keep your heart strong, your mind clear, and your bones resilient. But let me ask you something. Have you ever taken all those supplements, yet still felt tired, anxious, or restless at night? Have you ever wondered why your last blood test showed low vitamin D, even though you've been taking it for months? You see, supplements are like instruments in an orchestra. Each plays a part, but only when they're in tune with one another. Take one out of sync, and the whole symphony turns to noise. Today, I want to share what decades of clinical practice and modern biochemistry both reveal. The right way to combine magnesium, vitamin D3, and K2, and how other nutrients like B6, zinc, and omega-3 complete the picture. Because when used wisely, these nutrients can transform how you sleep, think, and move. Used carelessly, they can do the opposite. So pour yourself a cup of tea, settle in, and imagine we're just talking across the table. Doctor to friend. Let's start with the foundation, magnesium and vitamin D. Three are inseparable partners. One activates the other. Vitamin D3 is like a key, unlocking hundreds of genetic switches that regulate immunity, muscle strength, and mood. But that key only turns when magnesium is present. A few years ago, a patient of mine named Linda, a retired teacher, came to me frustrated. She'd been taking high-dose vitamin D3 for months, yet her blood levels barely budged. When we checked her magnesium, it was low. Not dangerously low, but low enough to block D3's activation. Once we added 200 milligrams of magnesium glycinate daily, her energy improved, her mood lifted, and her lab numbers finally made sense. That's the first lesson. Vitamin D3 cannot do its job without magnesium. Now enter vitamin K2, the quiet conductor of calcium. Vitamin D3 helps your body absorb calcium, but vitamin K2 for bone health decides where that calcium goes, into your bones, not your arteries. Without K2, the calcium mobilized by D3 can deposit in the wrong places, leading to stiff joints, kidney stones, even arterial calcification. So when people ask me, Dr. Will, which is more important, D3 or K2? I always say, neither. It's their partnership that protects you. Imagine your body as a 24-hour concert hall where every hormone and enzyme has its own performance time. If you take your supplements out of sync with that rhythm, you can throw off the music. Vitamin D3 behaves more like a morning hormone. Take it early in the day, ideally with breakfast that includes healthy fats like eggs, avocado, or olive oil. This aligns with your body's natural cortisol and sunlight rhythm, lifting your mood and energy. Magnesium, on the other hand, is your body's evening lullaby. It boosts GABA, the calming neurotransmitter that prepares your brain for deep sleep. Take it 60 to 90 minutes before bed. Magnesium glycinate or threonate are best. They're gentle on digestion and excellent for the nervous system. And vitamin K2? Take it with your D3 meal. It's fat-soluble, so it loves to travel with food. When you follow this timing, D3 and K2 in the morning, magnesium at night, you align supplementation with circadian biology. Your body responds naturally, not reactively. Here's where many people stumble. They focus on the main vitamins but forget the supporting cast, the co-actors that make the entire performance possible. Vitamin B6, the enabler. Magnesium needs B6 to cross into your cells, especially brain cells. Without enough B6, magnesium can't calm your mind or relax your muscles effectively. If you're taking magnesium but still feel tense or have twitching eyelids, low B6 might be the missing link. I often recommend a B complex that includes P5P, active B6, with breakfast. It also supports serotonin, your feel-good neurotransmitter. Zinc. The balancer. Zinc supports immune health, hormone balance, and wound healing. But here's the nuance. It competes with magnesium for absorption. 
So if you take both, separate them by a few hours. Zinc with lunch, magnesium before bed. That small shift can prevent digestive discomfort and ensure both minerals reach their destinations. Omega-3, the anti-inflammatory bridge. Omega-3, fatty acids from fish oil or algae, are the peacekeepers of your body. They reduce inflammation, improve cell membrane flexibility, and help shuttle calcium into bones instead of arteries, complementing vitamin K2 for bone health. I've seen patients lower joint pain and improve focus within weeks simply by adding 1,000 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA daily. Think of omega-3 as the lubricant that keeps the entire metabolic machinery running smoothly. Now, let's step into the place where all these nutrients first meet your body, your gut. Your intestines are not just tubes, they're living ecosystems. They decide which nutrients enter your bloodstream and which pass right through. If that lining is inflamed or leaky from stress, processed foods, or chronic medication use, even the best supplements will be wasted. Magnesium oxide, for instance, has an absorption rate of only 4%. If you're taking 400 milligrams, you might be getting 16 milligrams. The rest leaves your body unused. Better forms like glycinate or malate are absorbed four to six times more efficiently. Vitamin D, three also depends on fat digestion. If your gallbladder is sluggish or you've had it removed, your ability to absorb fat-soluble nutrients D3 and K2 drops. In such cases, a digestive enzyme or ox bile supplement with your D3 meal can make a world of difference. And your gut bacteria actually produce some of your vitamin K2. If you're taking antibiotics or eating mostly processed foods, that internal K2 factory slows down. Restoring it is simple. Add fermented foods like kefir, sauerkraut, or kimchi a few times a week. They feed the microbes that make K2 naturally. When you care for your gut, you're not just improving digestion, you're improving the effectiveness of every supplement you take. Here's a truth I wish more doctors would talk about. Two people can take the same dose of magnesium and vitamin D3, yet experience completely different results. That's because our genes and our age change the way we process nutrients. For example, the VDR gene controls how sensitive your cells are to vitamin D. Some people need 5,000 IU a day to feel balanced, while others thrive on 2,000. And the TRPM6 gene affects magnesium absorption. A variation there can make you prone to deficiency, even with a healthy diet. As we age, stomach acid tends to decline, further lowering mineral absorption. That's why older adults often benefit from split doses, a bit of magnesium in the morning, more at night, and D3 with K2 early in the day. Listen to your own body. If magnesium makes you groggy, lower the dose. If D3 makes you restless, increase your magnesium or check your B6. Your symptoms are messages, not mistakes. The goal is not to copy someone else's regimen, but to create your own rhythm of nutritional harmony. Let's bring it all together into a simple, balanced routine a blueprint you can adapt starting tomorrow. Morning, energy and focus. Vitamin D, 3 2,000 to 4,000 IU with breakfast. Vitamin K2, MK7 100 to 200 micrograms, take with D3. Omega-3, fish oil 1,000 milligrams, EPA plus DHA. B-complex with active B, 6P, 5P. These prime your brain, hormones, and bones for the day ahead. Evening, calming and rest. Magnesium, glycinate or threonate, 200 to 400 milligrams about an hour before bed. Zinc, 10 to 15 milligrams with dinner or every other day. These nourish your nervous system, help you unwind, and support overnight repair. Add fermented foods, leafy greens, nuts, and legumes throughout the week. They're nature's co-actors, working behind the scenes to keep the show running. This isn't about doing more, it's about doing smarter. By aligning timing, dosage, and synergy, you respect your biology, and your biology rewards you with steady energy, calm nights, and sharper mornings. Before we close, let me speak from experience. The supplement industry loves complexity. Take this for that. Mega dose this, and you'll feel amazing. 
But health after 50 is not about chasing numbers. It's about cultivating balance. Taking high doses of D3 without K2 can harden arteries instead of bones. Overusing magnesium without B6 can cause fatigue and low blood pressure. Too much zinc can deplete copper. The key is moderation, guided by listening, not fear. When I was younger, I believed health was about control. Now, I know it's about cooperation, working with your body, not against it. So let's zoom out. We began with bottles of pills on a counter, and we end with a symphony inside you. Magnesium and vitamin D, three set the rhythm. Vitamin K2 for bone health directs the melody. B6, zinc, and omega-3 add depth and harmony. And your gut is the stage on which they perform. When you orchestrate these nutrients with precision, your body does something remarkable. It feels calmer, stronger, and alive again. I see it every day in my practice. Men and women in their 60s and 70s who once felt foggy or fatigued now walk with clarity, sleep deeply, and laugh more. Not because they found a miracle pill, but because they found balance. So here's my challenge for you tonight. Don't add more supplements. Instead, adjust one thing, the timing, the pairing, or the form. See how your body responds over the next week. Let your own biology be your teacher. If this episode brought you clarity, please like, share, and subscribe. Together, we're building a community that values wisdom over hype and science over fear. Until next time, stay curious, stay steady, and stay vibrant. This is Dr. Will. And remember, health is not a destination. It's a conversation you have with your body every day.